Yo, what's going on guys? It's me, Vet07, and today I'm going to show you guys how to grind books uh, to get passives. I'll be making a video very soon on this passive right here, because it's uh, very crazy, so stay tuned for that. Alright, so if you go um, to the new island, and you head out all the way up to the top in the tower, the castle looking thing, talk to this guy, you can craft books. So you craft a blue book, this is what you need, I'll show you how to get these, and grind these effectively with what fruit. Then you gotta get this book, then you gotta get this book, and then you can evolve into the last book. So, um, if you see, you need a, a blue book to craft into the, you know, the epic one. Then you need the epic book to evolve into the, you know, the legendary. And then, you know, etc. So I'm gonna show you how to get all these materials. So, um, I'm gonna hope you guys know how to get logs. Just hit trees. Some abilities can't break them. Feathers, I'll show you guys how to get feathers, and I'll show you the best way to get gunpowder. So let's go ahead and head to First Sea, and I'll show you guys how. So we're in uh, First Sea and uh, logs, very simple. There you go, break a tree. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and head to War Island, which is this way, where you used to be able to do raids. This is First Sea, by the way. Also, my audio should be perfect now, so let me know down in the comments if it's good, and uh, subscribe while you're at it. Anyways, um, you used to be able to put on Dofi glasses with dragon and uh, auto cook these very easily. So, I'm not gonna kill him until I get a drop, but I hope I grab this random guy. That's it. Nope. Well, I didn't drop it, but you kill those guys for uh, for gunpowder. And then if you head over to Sky Pia, which is the floating island in first sea, maybe I should equip light. I'm gonna equip light so I can uh, make this a little easier on myself. Not fall in the water at the same time. So, um, a fruit I recommend uh, for, uh, you know, gunpowder is a uh, dragon. I'm in combat, and then a fruit I would recommend over here is uh, probably Quake Awakened or um, Doe Awaken, um, or maybe uh, Magma. Magma is the current highest damage fruit in the game, and that's because its first two abilities are. Um, very low cooldown and they do the most damage on the fruit. So pick up Magma Awaken and you can do all this very easily. So it's gonna be these guys right here. Cloud Warriors and Sky Warriors. So uh, if you have Doe you could group them all up with your B ability on PC and then they'll all die. If you have Dofi glasses it speeds up the process. Next book is uh, the epic book so I'm gonna show you guys how to get that. So we're gonna stay in first sea, and we're gonna head to the Fishman Island. And this is how you get short canines for the epic book. This is the easiest method right here. He has like no HP, so any fruit you were to do this, you see anything. And if you need fresh fish, just kill these guys. Quake works fine right here. Light works fine. They have super low HP, so you could use anything right here. Alright, moving on. Um, so we're uh, now back in um, second C. I'm gonna show you the best way, really quick, how to get uh, carrots. You want two people with unawakened quake waves. You're gonna stand somewhere in this general direction, or area, sorry. And you're gonna um, hit all these people. And uh, they'll get one shotted if you use unawakened. So you see it, uh, these guys and these guys. I'm pretty sure if you stand maybe a little bit farther back, you might get these guys. Uh, that's for carrots. This is second C. Now, any dinosaur, and there's a few NPCs that I forgot that uh, drop leather. So, to be honest, uh, if you could find an NPC with like multiple, like not just like a boss like this, then uh, that'd be better than this. But um, I'd recommend like a high damage fruit, like magma, awaken or unawaken, or even quake. So, these guys drop leather. The mammoth, I believe, drops leather. Um, yeah, so like all the dinosaurs just drop leather pretty much. Um, so dragon scales and seas wrath is another material you get. Um, dragon scales is from Kaido. This is second sea, by the way. So if you want to head to this island right here, Kaido's island, where you spawn the dragon, um, you farm the boss on the island to get dragon orbs, and you could spawn Kaido in to get scales. 
Now, scouts are pretty cheap, and you can also buy them in 3rd C from the uh, market trader guy. Um, so I'd recommend doing that, because they're kind of aids to get if you don't have um, a bunch of orbs. And then for for a uh, ghost ship, um, your best bet is probably server hopping. But um, a ghost ship is basically where it spawns out in the middle of the ocean. And you'll be able to see it on observation, so... Uh, obviously there isn't one right now, um, so I can't go fight it or anything and try to receive the drops and also I don't want to waste dragon orbs, so uh, I'm just going to give you the information. And uh, what I recommend for both of them is Magma V2, best fruit in the game currently. Any high damage single target fruit works, so um, yeah, just keep, the, keep your eyes out for ghost ships, but I recommend just trading for it in the King Legacy Discord because they're pretty cheap. Now the last thing that you need is a Hydra Tail. Last thing you need for from a second C that is, is a Hydra Tail. It's uh, probably around a 1% drop from a Hydra, so uh, good luck. Um, and that's from that's it for second C. So for third C, you're gonna need um, uh, what's it called, Heart of Seas. So you have to craft them. They're pretty easy. You need um, uh, ore or sorry bones, uh, goo from first C. A bunch of random like materials that are pretty easy to get so uh, I'll explain that last but uh, you're gonna need a few more things from third C so I'll show you where to go craft the hardest C then I'll uh, show you at the end of the video because I gotta go switch C so I'll just get third C over with so first island third C go ahead and follow me up here up on this mountain and this is where you grab the um, heart of seas, which you need one. So uh, I already showed you how to get all this besides Sea King Blood and um, Undertaker's. Bruh. Bruh. That guy jumped me and then uh, immediately left the game as soon as I switched to my PvP setup. So that was pretty fire. That guy was on my friends list too. Alright. So um, I've showed you guys how to get pretty much everything. Um. So all you need is the Aqua Gem and the Hardest Sea, I'll show you that in a second. And the Sea Artifacts, so for the Sea Artifacts, you're going to want to um, go to Last Island, and you're going to kill these monkeys right here. You're going to kill the Jungle Gorillas and the w Wildness Gorillas. That's a weird name. Okay. And then, for Aqua Gems, you're going to need to go back to the first island. Let me reset to go there. There's a little little guy hidden somewhere like right behind this pillar. I'm going to talk to him. So I showed you where to get the uh, the, the, uh, the artifacts. The fins I'll show you right now. The pearls I'll show you and the coral to craft these. So for the fins, you're going to want to kill the Fishman King's Guard right here. For the, pearl, the pearls and coral, you're going to want to come over here and kill this guy. I recommend magma. And for these guys over here, um, for this guy right here, I'm going to recommend magma as well. Just because they're bosses, so you don't really need stuff that's good for you know grouping them up or whatever. Um, and then the last material, I love you forgot. Hold on, not cutting this out either. Alright. Uh... Oh no, I actually got everything. But yeah. So, uh, sea artifacts, you can kill the monkeys. Strike fins, you can, uh, kill the, uh, the guard over there. And then for the pearls and coral, you're gonna wanna kill this guy. This guy does kinda have a lot of HP, so magma and blood moon twins deletes this guy. That's what I would recommend. So, uh, let's go back to first sea now and show you guys how to get the, uh, materials we're missing for the heart of sea. Just to refresh my memory. Take a look. Cause I can't remember. All right. So bones. I'll have to show you that. Undead ooze and sea king blood. You just get. You just kill sea beast. So bones and undead ooze. Bones is in second C. I believe only in second C too. So we'll go there and then we'll stop by first. So uh, you're gonna want to go to Kaido's island. And you're gonna want to head over to the guys with that. Um, 
there's four. If you like, turn on your observation, you can see four of them. Pretty easy to find. Um, I recommend that uh, doe. Uh, doe could group them all up and you can easily kill these guys. They're not very strong. They only got around 30,000 HP. So yeah, these guys drop bones. Um, so let me go show you how to get on that ooze now. Now here we are loading into first C. And uh, this is for the undead ooze. So you're going to want to go ahead and go all the way to the back of first scene. It's the prison. So there's already a bunch of people over there. So past Skypea, past Alabasta, all the way in the back. I believe the island's like level 1500. So, um... You just want to want something that's like good for grouping them up. So like Doe V2, which is probably hard to get. Uh, I should probably um, like Snow. Uh, Snow on Awaken is uh, actually quite good. The last move does a lot of damage and uh, has very good AOE. So yeah, these zombies right here and elite zombies drop undead ooze. Let me see if I can try to kill them real quick. They're an uncommon material after all. There we go, Undead Ooze. So that's uh, that's what you need for the Heart of the Sea. So that should be everything. And I tried recommending, you know, the best fruits for, uh, you know, for the grinding materials and all, but most of them are just bosses. But yeah, definitely pick up Magma V2 and Dove. Those are the best fruits in the game for grinding. And then uh, for PvP, I'll probably make a separate video for that. Hey, what's up, guys? Um, still watching, um, you know, this far in the video. Um, it turns out that my microphone pointed this direction is a lot better than, you know, I had it in the beginning. So, uh, yeah, now that I figured that out, the audio is going to be 10 times better. I listened to it in the editing. Um, if you guys enjoyed, please subscribe, like, and uh, comment. And uh, I'll answer every question. I'll try at least. And uh, if you want to join my Discord, I got a... a you know, maybe you could be in a video. We'll figure something out.